to figure it out, though. All right. Now here's the real story. What's that? We're here. Woo! We made that. We're back. We're back. Yeah. And we got a uh, we, we we uh we got a new guy in here. We're gonna introduce him in a second. That's right. Who's the host? <laughs> Who's is, is? Do we still have a host of this show? Are we all together on it? This is we're talking Jags, a Jaguars podcast. We're back for the 2021 Jaguars season. I'm episode the, one. Episode one. The 2021 season. Yeah. yeah, I'm uh, Nick. I'm the unseen voice right now. I'm gonna make, hold on. I'm gonna have the video up for you in a second. Uh, to my right is Chandler Cobb, Cedric Wallace, Jim Miles Joyner. And guys, we are um, currently going through a very tumultuous time in Jacksonville. We've become the laughing stock of the nation due to the fact that we employed Je- Jeffrey, an artistic firm, to design a 150 oh, foot it. tall stop joke it. on our front lawn. Oh, the Lord. Uh, and so all eyes across the nation, similar to the end of the third season of The Good Place, are on Jacksonville. Once again, we're, we're back. back. Our broad shoulders. They like to make fun of us, like Nation does. We had our first round draft pick. Am I supposed to be hopeful? This is a, this is, listen. Am I supposed to be scared? Okay, you're already asking. What you're am I already, supposed to feel right, right now? Okay. I'm an idiot? Uh, no. And that's why I'm listening to the show? We were idiots. Fill me in. We were idiots. Remember when we used to think, you know, hearing this and that for Blake Bortles and how good that team was? Wait, what? what Nick, mean? finally, we get to see a real one. The Jags have a real one. And I'm going to say it right now on the mic. Trevor Lawrence is legit. And you're supposed to see that kind of quarterback play when you want your team to win. A lot of franchises for the past 10, 12 years have been watching things like that on a normal basis. Call them the Green Bay Packers. Call them the, the Tom Brady Patriots, Tom Brady Buccaneers. Whatever you want to say, you name an elite quarterback for the past 10 years. That's what it looks like. What I saw yesterday at training camp was a kid that isn't limited or scared of anything. There's poise and... There's a physical athleticism that comes with him that makes it to where no fear. It seems like no fear. He'll throw it off the back foot. It's going to the back corner. You know it's a busted play. He knows it's a busted play, but it's really not. The play is never over, and I think we haven't seen it in Jacksonville for 15 years. I mean, what? You want to call Burnell or Garrard the last legit NFL quarterback? We remember for Garrard our team? making a... Great, good throw, busted right? play. No, a busted play be one of the most remembered plays in Jaguars history. Yeah, you're talking that about Mike Thomas. Yeah, right, right, in Pittsburgh, right. And so, uh, uh, I mean, maybe that's the last time we've seen someone make you know, good decisions off of busted plays with, you know what, actually, yeah, with their arm, sure, sure. To, to make a busted play a good play with their arm, yeah. You watched it yesterday. Right, right. I saw it yesterday. You're seeing two Correct. defensive linemen coming at him. He knows it's not going to be what he wants it to be. He's not in the pocket or seeing a receiver. So he just jumps off his back foot and throws it, and it goes to the back pylon of the end zone. One of the receivers sees that and starts running that way and almost gets it. Not that he got it. Not that it was a touchdown, but that... That hasn't happened in Jacksonville, man. We have not watched a quarterback do anything like that. One play that stuck out for me was a seam to a tight end. And I'm thinking, so that's what I see every Sunday when another team's quarterback hits their receiver up the seam and we give up a 60-yard touchdown. It's like, oh, so we, we can do that now. We can do that now. And I think it culminates, you know, Anything was better than last season, so that's a fact. I mean, which is not a bar to, you know. To I, really but it's the only bar. bar. Yeah. We can only look <laughs> right. back at last season and be like, that's... I mean, the whole was. thing is Trevor Lawrence, no Trevor Lawrence. You better be better than 1-15 next next year. I mean, I mean, literally, this guy can get in. Oh, God, don't introduce, like, the Trevor Lawrence uh, twist his ankle the on the first No, time. no, no. That's, don't. I'm not going to say what could happen. But something bad could happen. Okay, how about that? And then, and then, uh, uh, yeah, Minshew or whoever would have to step in 
And that is really what they're looking at right now um, because, you know, you have to make sure that these guys, that everyone can kind of deliver some sort of all right performance at least. Yeah, like, what, all right, like, get poetic about this with me now. <laughs> What's a second year men's shoe like? Is that... Is it, is that something? This would be a third year men's shoe. Third year men's shoe? Third year men's shoe is, third, is. Third time's the charm. Very important. <laughs> I think it's very important. Because what Miles is saying over there, I mean, we're not wishing anything, of course, on the guy that we think is going to be. It's also going to be a COVID season. Maybe not. Maybe, maybe. Uh, look, I, I mean, it's a COVID season. NFL. No, it's they a, got a lot of money, but I don't think they're going to It's a COVID this. season, but the NFL players are expected to become vaccinated, so that doesn't hinder. Anything. If they become vaccinated, then but they can play if, as much as they want. But that just gives us an NFL super variant, though. That's like incubated in their powerful bodies. <laughs> like <we> just, <laughs> like you know, mixed with the steroids, and it develops into something monstrous. Yeah, and, and we just like an alien. it creates a a lambda variant that we just can't handle. Uh, it looks like the <laughs> medical field has a bunch, you know, of job security. We were fools <laughs> to let the Americans... They're going to be really sitting out there... So strong. ...having to battle viruses now for the next 50 I mean, years. All right, Tom Brady Not can they just, haven't already. Then. Tom Brady can just shoot COVID, like, 200 yards. Yeah, it's I mean, Tom Brady thing. COVID is going to kill a lot of people. <laughs> oh, a lot. God. Gronkowski... Oh, God. Less of a survival rate with Tom Brady COVID, though. <laughs> Eventually, there will be a TV 12 there, yeah. That TB12 variant coming your way. Oh my god. That oh, Lenny 27 god. variant. Bro. Man. No joking about no it? COVID. Are Don't we joke about fake it? news? No COVID. Are we like circling? No COVID. I mean, we're, we're joking. It's a joke. We've actually been Yeah, but YouTube's not going to know that. They're going to think we're terrorists. Oh so gosh. This is all we have to talk anyways. <laughs> this middle section is getting they're gonna, No, they're going to be gonna like, mute this. oh, these kids are in Florida. They're going to, yeah, right, right. They're going to mute this entire part <laughs> no. because we're not, we're not. But here's the awful truth. Going by they can still numbers. go 1 in 15 or 2 in 14 and everyone will mostly keep their jobs. Like, they're not going to give, that, like, they're saving something. so much, they're not going to give them just one season. They would be so much dead money. No matter how rich the man is, it's just not good business. When you said we can't do worse than 1 in 15, I said we could go, I was no, I, thinking I, we could go 1 in 15 again. I, I, no, I'm just saying that you that's not a bar to step again. over. That's no, 1 in 15 okay, is no okay. bar to step over. Right. And so it's like, Minshew no Minshew, or, or Lawrence no Lawrence, uh, you better step over that bar. I don't care. Because especially when you're talking about like <clears throat> developing, quote unquote, every, uh, every quarterback, you know, as much as you are Lawrence. And it's like, you know, and it's clear who's going to get the job, you know, especially with what happened today at the uh, scrimmage. Um, I got the stats for that. I'll read them off in a second. But, yeah. Were you able to watch any of that? No, no. All I watched it. was, like, the pregame thing. Yeah, me too, me too. I was in church clucking over that. My dad called me. He, like, woke me up today. Like, okay. hey, you. The Jack's gonna be on TV at 9 30. Yeah, like, okay. It was on Fox. I checked it out and then we didn't even watch a single play. I yeah, yeah, no. I, uh, Brian Sexton, I'm literally like on the drums and like kind of got it in my ear though, like we're kind of low because I gotta hear what's going on. And uh, and he's like, we're actually not gonna be showing you any play by play, but we're gonna be with you for the with you for the next 15 minutes and da da da, you know, because Urban Meyer doesn't want to show whatever he's got up his sleeve, whatever. Which makes you know. sense. Well, Classic. I just hope there is something up there. <laughs> he is the coach from the water boy before he got his manhood stolen. <laughs> I'm hoping it's Daryl Bevel's got, you know, the stuff yeah. up his sleeve. That's what I'm thinking. Um, I'm, if he was able to develop Russell Wilson, a third round pick. Oh, I'm feeling the same way about... The same way that he can develop Trevor Lawrence, the first round pick, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. the first overall pick. The ceiling should just be, you're just expecting it to be like four or five Super Bowls in a career. Like, I'm hoping this kid's four or five Super Bowls. I'm like, hoping it to not be too high this season. I know that sounds weird, but here, here's why I say that. Maybe because, not this season. Because what if they do so well that Daryl Bevel gets plucked away by some other team needing the head coach next season? Like, do you think the bond between the coordinators and the coaches is strong enough that they would actually stay together to build something special? These coaches that we have now? Yeah. Uh, I think that they, yeah. I think, I, mean, that's, I, I think that's throughout the entire organization, player and coach. I think I know how coach. you're thinking. You're thinking, don't do too well so that well, nobody I, comes I, to pluck our team <laughs> off 
because, because of how well we did. I guess it's a cautious optimism because we've done so bad that I would take going nine and seven and then his potential skyrockets next year once we I all are like I when mean. we're ready to actually make a run at the Super Bowl. Seventeen games now. Right. I'm not calling Super Bowl for a rookie year. That's a, that's blasphemy no, almost. No, the, um, could he defeat Tom Brady? Is it gonna be it's gonna Tom Brady fight, or perhaps, Aaron Rodgers? He is limber and he is, you know He does have that boy sheath. He has <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he is a... Uh, the hair makes him kind of look like uh, that character from Soul Calibur. Oh, oh wow. um, I know who you can. Siegfried. Yeah, Siegfried. Yes, Siegfried. a very elegant fellow. Who's that, me? No, well, well, you, yes, oh. but also Trevor Lawrence. Oh, Trevor Lawrence. Lawrence. Oh, okay. <laughs> We're all elegant fellows in here. Right, all right. right. We wear our pants at our waist. <laughs> no, I'm a jerk bag. <laughs> Scum of the earth. I got a draw for the earth with tough legs. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, but I feel the same way, what, what you're saying, Chandler, about Joe Cullen, though. Watching some of the things that Joe Cullen was calling yesterday, and I don't know if this is player acumen, lack thereof, um, or just bad play calling. But are you worried that a rookie quarterback lit up Joe Cullen's defense yesterday? I'm worried that I mean, just took Joe of Cullen's defense. I would love, you know, you know, you know, I would, I would love it to say Trevor Lawrence is so good to where our defense is actually a pretty good defense, but Trevor Lawrence is just so good. And that's and yeah, he lit him up. That's the conundrum of practice. Right. You sit there and you don't know, what's, you don't know. what side don't know is what's giving what. and what side is taking. I'm right. You're like, is our O-line good at blocking or is our pass rush ass? Right. I can't figure that out. All right. Like, so, is Trevor Lawrence a good quarterback or is this his secondary but, but, really have their heads up there? But now? literally there was a – I and then when this happened, I, I heard you say afterwards – you know, this is a that was there were five wide or whatever. They're you know they're in shotgun da da da. It's like I don't care if you're running five wide. I need a safety, if not you know back there with the other. Oh, thanks. Man. Is this clean? Yeah. I oh, yeah. That. Called that play, didn't I? I'm right. Sitting there right. Like the defense yeah. doesn't know what's happening. The yeah. defense doesn't know what's going on. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> right up the scene. Miles got. Do you see me at a hop tanger when I when I'm like about to start? Like I'm asking for clean dry towels like behind the bar. Yeah, like, I'm thinking about bringing a towel. <laughs> Out to my profession, but 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 yeah, no, yeah, they were they were you know five wide or whatever or something like that. I don't know, and there was one safety back there, and that just in the NFL, you, this is not Sandalwood versus Fletcher, dude. All right, I need you running pro defense. So that was you may have thought that about uh, the the OC, but I was thinking about that with with Joe Cullen. On the DC. So you're thinking he's not going to develop. You're worried about his development of the defense. Um, because I'm saying Daryl Bevel will do a good job. Are you saying Joe Cullen will do a good job with uh, his defense? I I just no. I would like them. I would like him to make better adjustments as far as like what, like that. Like I need I need adjustments to be made. I need. It seemed like a lot of mix up, and I didn't know and. and I don't know. Maybe it was the binoculars. You just weren't seeing, <laughs> seeing well. You were I was looking too close. So, so, so it was my I, no. I, I watched that play with my own two, and <laughs> and then and then and then I looked and then I looked at I looked at Joe Cullen to see like his because re- that that went for a, t- a tutty. Yeah, and, and so, I, I didn't look for Joe Cullen. You right, 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 right. And Joe Cullen was like livid, you know. And it's like, well, aren't you the one that called that? And so my whole thing is like. <clears throat> Are who I don't know if it's gonna be Joe Schobert this year or Jack with the green dot, but I need someone to take control over recognizing over play recognition. Ah. Right. So you so I think you might be worried that the heads are still spinning as far yeah. as Joe Collins' defense is concerned. Maybe that's maybe that's maybe like, that's what it is. It's yeah. complex defense. Yeah, yeah. And it's, they're it's, not and they need somebody, just one mm-hmm. to be like I understand the playbook. Yeah. No, uh, Joe so, Schobert, Miles Jack, Damian Wilson, whoever. Whoever. I want to say, uh, what you call it? Um, it? has to be a linebacker. What's his name? Shaquille Griffin said, said, said that it was, uh, it was, it was, it's a lot of getting used to when it, when it comes to his defense. So, I mean, yeah, man. This is the guy from the Ravens, man. Do you think the defense is a, uh, is, Worried about their personality? Do you think we have a lot of personality on our defense? Where it's like... Egos, would you say? Or more like aggression? Egos. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Worrying about how they look at all times. That just like, off. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> um, so what? What I think? What I think is. All right. So. I saw Shaquille Griffin like giving like some sort of pep talk to the to the DBs. And it was it was but it it was a it seemed to be an, a reassurance thing, right? It seemed to be like a hey, let's like we got to play smart out here. We got to da da da. We got to you know. I keep saying be professional. Be professional. Yes, yeah, that's exactly what it was. He said, "Thank yeah, you." Yeah, yeah. He said, "Yeah, he said be professional. Be profe- we're professionals out here." And you know, I I think that you know, him being the pro that he is, you know, the the he was probably the best cornerback that could have been picked up this year out of free agency, I'm going to assume, and we got him. And I feel like he is around guys that, you know, yeah, not on that level. Aside from Rashawn Jenkins, uh, they are kind of a duo when it comes to that professionalism. At, out of the, who I would say the entire defense, with the exception of Miles Jack, and Joe Schober. Uh Miles Jack has just been a part of just crap for mostly crap. If you have five pieces of crap, if you have five buckets, <laughs> one of those buckets does not have crap in it, and that's 2017. And so that's what yeah. Miles Jack has been enduring. You know what I'm saying? So can we have a moment of silence? Wait, 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 wait. A, can we have a, a moment of silence for 2017 and what was? Huh? A moment of silence for 2017. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. No. One. No nostalgia. <laughs> no nostalgia on this show. Don't disrespect the five seconds yeah, it no, takes no. us. He, he, All defense. He, he, when you he, think he, back at that season, Cal- Calais Campbell. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> he hates it when we speak of 2017. Hey, man, we always the respect the mayor, had, okay? It was the only, yeah. Listen. If there's anything that can defeat us in the 2016, season, all we could talk about was 07. We right. can't. all we had. We can't feed our children with the memories of the past. Oh, they're going to be stuffed at the buffet <laughs> with the memories of the past if we don't win anything. Yeah. <laughs> if, we don't, if we don't win some damn games. <laughs> we need to throw fat off of the, 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 the modern dreams of the future. The new tabloids. <laughs> yeah, like this. The new. We can't. The new news. I can't raise my kids in a world like this where I say things used to be good. Oh. <laughs> I'm, gearing up, I'm already gearing up to have to explain what a polar bear was. <laughs> things, things, used to be, things used to be good once. I'm, I'm going to have to... No, they were good intermittently. I don't think they'll shed right? and... They're I'm going to have to explain to my kid what owning a house was. As like, you know? I don't want to be like, also, sports, we were good. I need to be like, we, this is. Right. Now it helps. I don't have a child. <laughs> well, if you want that, you got to be a fan of Tom. We, that's another. We all don't because we can't have kids until the Jags are good. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Until Every, the, the stars in line. The country are holding out. Everything is set up and right and ready to go. Like we are, we're, we're all waiting. We're all like thirty-five. Yeah, think about all these like fools out here so who have children is, every day. When the Lombardi Trophy comes off. <laughs> <laughs> um. Um, we are but, not sponsored by Trojan. I'm sorry. I, I, <laughs> with, that, with that being said, I um, <laughs> I I really like the uh, I, I it's, it's it's interesting because we we saw so much of oh man, what's our our general manager's name? Trent, Trent Balky. We saw so much of him. During, I prefer to coach on that one. Yeah, but I talked to coach. And, uh, I prefer to coach on uh, that one. Uh, yeah, he actually looks younger and <laughs> is probably younger than he sounds. Um, we're really gonna get. We're trying to. Get I thought he was him. seventy years old when I heard him talk, uh, and then uh, yeah. now I saw him. He's got a dusty voice. Dusty man. Dusty, he reminds like, me of the the penguin off of Toy Story. <laughs> um, yeah, the little penguin. Yeah. yeah. Rest in peace. Coughing up. <laughs> But uh, it was interesting. It's interesting because we have seen literally like so much less of him since the season has sort of started. Yeah, was he even out there? No, I I haven't heard. Seen, spot him with your one binocular. I think I saw. I think I saw. I think not. I saw, but he. You know, he had a press conference. Um, it came like, through my spyglass. It's pretty much a spyglass. It's pretty much a telescope. Right. He uh, <laughs> fucking, you know, yeah, they, they're they're horrible. I got them, I got them from a thrift store. I'm gonna get some new ones. Jack, I'm definitely gonna get some new ones, but um, I'm not gonna need any new ones because because season over, I got great seats. But anyway, neither here nor there. Uh, Trent Balky, 
Yeah, it's just interesting because we 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 heard him talk so much during the off season about you know what what he what we were able to acquire you know what our what our plans sort of were and you know just introducing himself and everything and now we just don't see any of him which is fine but we see who is out there the the people the the men that he selected to be on this team and um, it's it's it it's as Cool as it is to see Urban Meyer as personable with these players and all the coaching staff as personal with the players as like how thorough they were during the offseason. You know what I'm saying? Just to see uh, a guy from Stanford that, you know, was injured for two years and is out there with the ones. Getting it. You know, getting it at right tackle. Doing it against Josh Allen. Doing it against Josh Allen. Yeah. You know? Having, you know, some trouble on uh, Tyson Campbell um, out there also with the ones. Uh, Cisco out there with the more yeah. at times. I mean, hopeful for him. And then our free agents as well. So it's just cool to see that. Do we have enough Samoans on the team? We have two, two. a lot. Uh, I, I don't want to say two too many. No, is that bad? Uh, but if <laughs> only Alu Alu would have come back, we could have. We could have three, but we but they could all but, been defensive line. Which but when we have drafted the Samoan, it had Alu Alu come back because that's. What, that's what happened. We had to draft the Probably Samoan. still. I don't Probably. Because then that because we drafted a DT Samoan and went through our DT Samoan didn't come back to that. Yeah, you're right. During March, you know. Uh, but so you Kale Daniel, you Kale. He's a ta- is he he's a uh, he's what? a defensive tackle. Defensive tackle. Yeah. We have two on the line. Yeah. That's breaking the rules. J two Fale. No. Uh, he, well, yeah. It's I didn't know the other guy was. Progress, man. It's not breaking the rules. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like we need it's, like a linebacker and a safety too. Like, um, basically, Samoans are really good at defense. Like, I like that. Yeah, uh, Troy Palomalu just sent Then you got Tua. Hall of Fame yesterday. Quarterback. Shout out to Or not, not yesterday, the but hair. the other day. The magical hair. Yeah, they got his hair. They, they did his bust well. It's his amazing bust. that running backs didn't see him coming with all that hair, but yet it just happened. They better do Tony right when Tony Vasselli gets in there. It wouldn't be any different than any other player. You gotta watch. Yeah, I don't know what's gonna happen. His bust, his bust. I mean, it could be up. I'm just joking. Could not be <laughs> I, I was making a joke that there's a lot of white people in the Hall of Fame. This is just bad. They go off. This is true. It's true. Whoa, uh, whoa. <laughs> it's more so just like I, this. we're gonna get pulled down for spicy peppers on this episode. Yeah, YouTube's not gonna enjoy this. We're gonna get ratios, bro. Um, but but yeah, uh, yesterday was a, was a was a huge was a huge. A great day as a as a fan and a good offensive day, bad defensive day is what I'm gonna chalk that yeah. to. And are we gonna talk about forty dollars on five items, guys? <laughs> the concessions, shot. I'm still waiting on that phone call, dude. It's oh, too man. much. This is in Atlanta. It's too much. <laughs> <laughs> a yeah. hot dog should not be six dollars and twenty five. We may cents. never be as good as Atlanta as far as like. Just things. Why are you not complaining more about the beer price? The beer, because what? I don't, what beer was it that was twelve? This was the. This is uh, the reason. The blue moon. I showed up malnourished, and that's on me. So I needed <laughs> on food. You. Like I, I, didn't, I didn't need food, up. but I showed up food was a, some was a priority. Oh, so yeah. when I got there, I was like, I'm getting the hot dog. Whatever they have to offer, I'm probably gonna get it to eat. And that's what ended up happening. The beer was a choice. I know the beer is going to be expensive and overpriced. Yeah. The hot, the food. I was like, man, y'all really breaking the bank over here. Well, for a hot dog. Are you ready for like? Do you want the real answer, bro? Tailgate. Do you want the dark truth? Is that we might just become a pit like Jacksonville, Florida in general? We might be in a transition where like the state's not ours anymore, and we're just pit stop for jilted Californians. Mm. And, and don't forget, you know, tired New Yorkers. I hope they like Lurk. <laughs> you got, you're gonna learn to lerp it. it maybe you're gonna learn to love it. Maybe it's you jerk. Love it could love still be lerp. Jerk. Lerp to love it. <laughs> <sighs> I, 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 if, we, if I can, since you guys mentioned it twice now, I like the the sculpture. You like the lerp? I have It's a sculpture. sculpture. I don't care. It's a sculpture. It's gonna be so. It's gonna be a nice it's little. It's like Jeffrey. <laughs> I hate that name. Uh, I think it's Jeffrey. Yeah, if it is Jeffrey, well, I'm even more incensed. It's, right? well, it's probably not Jeffrey. J E F R E with an U. Yeah, but what if Banksy comes and puts a Banksy on our Jeffrey, and now we've got something? Well, a homeless really person's cool. definitely gonna pee on it, so that it's okay. Part, where did the homeless gonna do to it? They're I'm gonna sleep so underneath it. I'm worried why, about it. Why not a giant, intimidating metal jaguar? 
I think well, we have one that looks like, like Black that Panther. The, that'd be well, awesome. I'm saying one that looks like it could shoot a laser. You know, in you, you asked about that'd the homeless, sweet. and I think the Pointing homeless, Nash, really? just with with anything, are less likely to be. I don't want to get off the rails. The homeless, the homeless are less likely to be to have to have it or, or to be in places that are nice. You know what I'm saying? If there's a lot of people there inhabiting those places, that no, because the police basis. are circulating and running them out of those places. But but not, but only all right. So like like one thing I, I always tell people: if you were to build three more Calvert chop houses, they're not called Calvert chop houses, but they're of the same quality, right? Mm-hmm. And, and you set at that point. So Bay and what Bay and uh, 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 Main Streets no. in J- Jacksonville's downtown thoroughfare. You just place, you place them downtown. No, it's Bay and uh, the streets don't matter. You place these things down. Ocean there Bay and Ocean. All right, Bay and Ocean. <laughs> You go down, you go down what, Ocean and Adams, and then you go. This doesn't matter. For let me anyone. just finish it, dude. Uh, I'm not God. Adams, then you go Adams and Market, and then Bay and Market. All right, you've sectioned off a neighborhood. All right, at that point, and then once you do that, less homeless people are are likely are, are likely to be there because it's those hang out on the outskirts. It sounds so bad, but they're just not welcome at that yeah. point. <laughs> Sounds bad, but it's the it's the sad truth. All I know is that regardless of homeless people or not, I want the little things that make Jaguars games great. Like when you're walking underneath the expressway to the Heart Bridge, and there's that guy that's always on his uh on the saxophone mm-hmm. playing. Mm-hmm. He makes it beautiful every time. Because one of those is always there, man. <laughs> yeah, you, you would tip him, but now you can't. You know why? Because it costs forty dollars for a scrimmage. Forty bucks on on beer. That's right. But for five hours. Twenty four on beer, but still. But a person, yeah, made, a person made a great about point about this. Is like, don't you? you we need more. We, what are you gonna show? What are you gonna show during like? All right, so next season, what are you gonna show when CBS comes on? It's like, and then it's like, you gonna show a patch of grass? I didn't think so, because you're not gonna show the landing anymore. That's what they used to show. You know, what are you gonna show? You're gonna Take, you know, have a view of the beaches? Like, that's what they do, yeah. man. You know what's going to happen? The beach is nice. They're no, going to show the shipyard. Everyone has a beach. It doesn't make our city, or not everyone has a beach, but how many teams in the NFL have a freaking beach? It doesn't make us unique. I don't it's, think you can ride this big statue. Or the statue is going to freaking reflect the sun into the, ca- the helicopter's eyes, and then it's blind the camera, and it's going to be ruined. Also, they could have shown a venture landing. All right, they could have shown freaking. Well, that's that's about to go too. So yeah, we're not gonna show a venture landing. Oh, and they're getting rid of the strip clubs. Not that they would show that, but you know, it's just <laughs> where are the priorities, Lenny? Jalen Ramsey was right, where man. Are the Hard drugs and crab trays. They could show. Yeah. You can show some crab trays. Fuck Jalen Ramsey. <laughs> I knew that would get you going. <laughs> <laughs> go have fun with your fucking plastic surgery and cocaine in fucking L.A. Fucking piece I don't, of shit. I don't think Jalen's a cocaine guy. Not he is now. Man. Yeah. <laughs> when you're in LA, he's in LA. I heard a rumor somewhere from someone confirmed source that he was doing stuff for cocaine that he wouldn't like his mom to know about. SoFi Stadium. We play at SoFi. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck uh, you. <laughs> we do, look, look. We, I, I'm telling you, it does make the experience better though when you're uh, when you have a roof over your head and it's hot. So I'm telling you, yeah, it makes just, you weak. <sighs> sure. Are you, David Goggins style. You just put suntan lotion on the top, like sure, a man. Sure, sure. You get fatigued faster. Put it for, right on and, top. And, and Quit being you, you get fatigued, weak. You, you, uh, you get fatigued faster. Can you say it as you pass out from a heat Almost, stroke first? Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> Almost at this point, I never want the Jacks to dome up. Never. Not it's, a dome. It's not, a, just, not a dome. Even, even what the no like Seattle. Hey, yeah, like what what, Se- what so Seattle right. did. What Seattle has. You what, will. What, what the stroke. smart people you in Miami got. have. Like, Quest Field is beautiful. Okay, and we need a roof like that. We really do. Hopefully, when we and it makes it louder. You're talking about Miami. Miami. Hard no, Rock Seattle. Hard Rock Quest Field. Stadium. No Quest Field, man. Or my even twelfth man. Have that little. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and they did that little things like the little the freaking the point. Monolith. That's what it is. Like that monolith of a scoreboard. Honestly, like scoreboard. you could do something cool too. Like, like honestly, you could do something to where it's like even not a true dome. The Bills don't have a dome. The Packers don't have a dome. The Bills we'll talk have about a, the Bills. The Bills facility. have amazing weather. Okay, Dude, 
They play in snow. Do not talk How about their. That as a matter, I was being sarcastic. They're the Bills. They're sarcastic. used to it. The front side of our the front side of our schedule. The sarcasm. Is hell. The, sar- the sarcasm is because the, the Bills back side are of our rated. Schedule is great. The Bills are rated to have. That's what. It, when we they're play rated in to December, have one, it feels great down here. They were rated to have one of the lowest facility, like lowest quality facilities in the NFL. Which Urban Meyer has come in here and said, "Look, not only has the, has the team sucked, but this sucks." Everything around me sucks. Sure, he did call that. Yeah, out. he Let called me ask it you out. This. If you were a player, would you rather play a couple good weeks at the beginning of the season and then just ten weeks of cold, or would you do the opposite of what we do in Jacksonville, play hot as balls for a couple of weeks at the beginning of the season, and then it doesn't curve off for winter? Our winter down here is like the best football. Damn world. the players, man! What it's about like the fans? All- Seventy thousand people. That's your fault. It's not my fault. Motion, drink some water. And yeah, they're going to be there this year, man. And get out there. <laughs> not if you want to be a Jags fan, you better pack a lunch. <laughs> yeah, you want to be a Jags fan, you better have sunscreen. <laughs> sunscreen. No one said this would be easy. Not look, necessarily. Look, I've, the, I've the, seen the, Tim Diggin in the stands, man. He was roasted like a lobster. The, the, the sun in our stadium determines how I buy my tickets. Because if you, if you have gone to these games, you know, and notice things, you'll notice that the southwest part of the stadium gets the shade first. Every time. You'll notice that's that that's where I'm always trying to hide it. And I mean, not obviously, not every time. The other fans place. know that. Is where I'm like the, yeah, maybe the smart fans. Fans. Right. All right. Some fans dress like Galileo. That's, that's why we put that's why the away fans. fans. In that section. Right. right. That's why we switched it. It is. That's why we switched it. If you could remember way back in the day, we used to be, the, the, the home side was on the, I guess, the east side of the stadium. We used to be, the like where all the sun was. Yes, yes, exactly. Mm-hmm. And so, uh, like but yeah, they, they, they got, got smart and switched yes, it up. Yes, so. exactly. Yeah, yeah. So I could make a stadium that turns and all that's all it was. Like a big old lazy Susan. I could make a stadium You might have something there. I think, like, probably in the next 50 years. Watch. Watch. Watch that shit happen. What's the lazy stadium that turns? Like when you chase on the face. Oh, yeah, 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 you spin it. Right. Yeah, you know, right. I don't want to catch it. Look, all right, all right. Everyone has. All, that's why when you compare it to the Bills on the Bills on Pulse, like, it's like, because everyone else, everyone else has made either, like, either rebuilt or made major renovations. And it's like, and I said this to some guy on Facebook, he's like, the guys have not Made renovations on Not everyone. The Buccaneers are trash. Florida. Why are we disrespecting the Dolphins? Have the best facilities as far as the Florida teams are concerned. Why are we disrespecting the Dolphins? The Buccaneers do not have a suite. No, they don't. They don't. And they just want to sue them. No, it, it doesn't take facilities to win anything. It does. No, it does. Yes, it does. No, it does. Or it takes. Like wait. Or it takes. No, it takes no, you're comparing. It doesn't take a gym to get in shape. You're comparing a you gotta do is go outside. to acquiring Tom Brady. Go that is unfair. That's you're completely unfair. Shit. That establishment, that organization would have done crap without 12. No, you put too much into uh, that establishment. Jameis Winston is not Tom Brady. If you want it, you'll get it. All that shit that comes with it is extra. You, you can't, can't get, get shit from the mud. The Jaguars aren't gonna get this Super Bowl this year from the mud. Has Trevor Lawrence got anything out of this? Trevor Lawrence was facilities and hot weather and all the factors that are against us. Trevor Lawrence was rat facilities and hot weather and all the factors that are against us. I don't know. I just think that's you're putting too much into facilities over there. No, no, no. I mean, it is. Look, that's you know, SoFi wasn't built in a day, and neither was the Glendale Stadium. Right. So fine, so huh? So you want to bring it back you, you to so, so fine? Lo fi, a bunch of old guys so over there. So <laughs> um, I, look, I, I am. Um, look, I told you we have a we have a concrete foundation, a beautiful concrete foundation at TI and she is in field. Okay, and. Literally, 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 you don't have to. I think you made a great point. You don't want to renege on all the things that you said. We literally just put glass all on the side of that, right? And then just put like I don't know some sort of cool dome. It doesn't have to be like crazy. Like they, it could be like some crap that they had in in Minnesota. In, in Minnesota. That 
is an ice cream. No, 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 no. I'm talking about the old ones when they when they had when their ceiling imploded. The bubble. Because of, the bubble. No, 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 I'm talking about the of all that snow that was you know, on top of the it. The bubble is obsolete as far as domes are concerned because of shit like that. The bubbles, like, the bubbles are obsolete. Like Syracuse had one and they made it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's an old thing. Around. After after no the silver dome, the silver dome, and no, yeah, it's, it's an old thing. thing. After, after, after the silver dome, it is too dangerous. Blow it up with hot air. Wait, like, wait. What does thing? the rays have? It is too dangerous. Wait, what do the rays? That's a solid roof. It's a solid roof. Pylons that go across the top. Okay. No, no. Yeah, yeah. That's how a lot of them work. Just do that. Bubble dome. It's so easy. Just do that. All right. So, so honestly. Honestly, just, just cover, yeah, no, just cover the fans, up. man. So, so literally, just cover the fans and, fi- or, and find a way to let the sun in a little bit. Fans, it's gonna look, it's gonna look. I will say this: I do hate that crap on Madden, though. When you play in like stadiums that like have shelter like that, and then it's just night. Oh my god! You have to feel this darkness and the other is sunlight. It's like it's just like it's hard to see receivers. How do we make it fun? Do we make it like? Palm trees that come over the top, you know? Like, how do you feel? Remember you 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 Jaguar Paul? <laughs> yeah, it's Jaguar Paul's. <laughs> Everything is Jaguar. Oh, what is that? I was always just coming out of Jaguar Paul's. I got the storm drains. I was always just coming out of Jaguar Paul's. I was always just coming out of Jaguar Paul's. Like, yeah, I want some theme in the stadium. I want the Jacksonville to feel like a jungle. Thank you. Uh, yeah, same. Oh, yeah. I've, I've always wanted... Are, like, this is strange. Are they still want to play Guns N' Roses every time? Yeah. You know? I've always wanted yeah. Alabama to put a dome on there so they make a big red one. I've always wanted Alabama to put a dome on there. That would be cool. But big red wave. If it's anything like both... A crimson tie. As soon as you're trying to make anything for reflectors, it's got to be way hot. It's too hot. Red tidal wave. As soon as you're trying to make anything for reflectors, it's got to be way hot. All right, but we're talking about Jackson. Yeah, we're talking about Jackson. All right, but we're talking about Cam Robinson. <laughs> Cam Robinson. Uh, looks great. So wait, any team, any more on a team-specific <laughs> stuff? Have you guys been talking about the shade for like 15 minutes? Well, it's hot out there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so QB Roundup today. Um, Lawrence, 16th yeah, yeah, of 21. Uh, so two toes. Chanel and... Ocean Hennessy, Oshak Hennessy, yeah. Um, Ocean and no interceptions. No, no interceptions. Uh, two, two uh, drops. Um, his eyes fall. Um, and he led a 99-yard drive. I don't know what to say about this defense, man. Um, and then a tidy, his tight, one of the tighties came in a two-minute drive. Tidy. Uh, or so that 99-yard drive. So it was like, I don't know if that was right. I didn't, anyway. Minshew, uh, 8 for 14, nine, 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 one drop, no tutties. Uh, CJ Beathard, 18 for 21, two tutties. Wow. Uh, oh, he put to T. Jones and Ham- to, to Jones and Hammond. And then uh, a T. also in a two-minute drill. And then Luton, 6 for 8. Don't know if it's going to end well for Luton. I don't think it's going to be good. And our defense sounds Oh, and a couple. Don't know if it's going to end well The defense, like, you get me worried. I'm worried about our defense. Yeah, 99 yards? 99 yards? All right, unless unless Trevor Lawrence is as good as Derrick Henry, I'm good. I'm fine. Unless he's fine. Do you like vamp? Do you like turn it up for the season? Like, do you like You play smarter. You play like professionals. You heard Griffin. We have a lot of like. We'll see against Cleveland. We'll see. I understand we have a lot of our, our, our offensive line. We'll see I don't. I don't count I we have little as part part like. I just think he's as smart as everyone on that offensive line because he's a Stanford grad. Like, obviously, I just think he's as smart as. Um, he's smarter than AJ. He's Cam. definitely yeah, smarter than AJ on. can. Right. Not. He's smarter than South Carolina. Definitely than AJ can. So, so I feel like our our offensive line has a pretty good veteran presence, and then we have good. Good, you know, we're solid amount of uh, young vets as far as our wide, wide receiver core, even though a lot of them are acquisitions. Um, I think the wide receiver core might be the deepest position on the team. Deepest as far as depth. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and that's starting to make no sense. It's got like eight guys. It's going to be some broken hearts. Nine guys. 
Uh, come come September. September. Yeah, three uh, broken hearts, broken right? Heart. There's five, maybe? Four, uh, I'm thinking. I think there's 12. Yeah, yeah there's 12 of them. So. Someone's yeah. bound to get injured, though. So, like, practice squad for someone. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, practice squad for something. He's yeah. got a thing for Colin Johnson, and I'm thinking. So do I. Yeah, watch out for him. Love him. Yeah, no, no, no. I want to see him do some work. Treadwell to take his position. I don't know. I think Treadwell will be the. I don't know. I think they're Colin Johnson's. Stats from today's screw. Right. They don't have that. They didn't have that. They didn't have that. No, they didn't, they didn't, they didn't have that. Um, they had the impact. So here's some other things, though. Uh, wide receiver Tevin Jones later in. Oh, that's what that meant. Tevin Jones, yeah. That's, uh, Tevin Jones later in practice had one of the day's highlights when he was. Uh, a highlight plays when he made a one handed reception for a touchdown on a pass from Bathard. Uh, with cornerback Trey Hinton in tight coverage. Of course. Trey not Trey. Of course. Uh, I'm so worried about him. I'm not surprised. He's trash. Don't be worried. They, he's not bad. They keep talking uh, him up so, so much that he can not see a nickel. And it's just, no one talked him up. Absolutely no one. I don't know. The only talk really, up that he had was that no the DB's coach was the same coach from the last coach he's had. Oh, is he? Yes. And that Trey Hinton was a guy that he had been grooming and or bringing up since he started. So, Trey Herndon and this guy are attached at the hip. The only thing that talked up Trey Herndon was the lack of depth. And the, and the so to the coach and the Trey, though, that he specifically focused on developing this man, and he's still getting burned and trashed yeah, like every it week. It was bad yesterday. Um, Malcolm Brown picks a fumble out of the air after his slip from the hands of quarterback Jerry Luton. While trying to pass, Brown returned the phone for a tutty. Malcolm Brown. Saints screen. Yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm he's, he's, he's looking good, man. He's looking good. Um, him and uh, Corey yeah, Robinson are here. Good, good. Uh, Tyson and, uh, Campbell continue to show good speed, defending a a pass from quarterback Carter Minshew if early, or sorry, Carter Minshew in Carter Minshew early in practice. That too looked like in for a couple times, or, or if. Um, he's, he's not even a second. Like, he's not, fine. He's, he's he's not, not even a, 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 a junior. I mean, he comes with that. Anyway, Rashawn Jenkins had a pass defense and closed practice um, with an interception on the last Hill Mary pass uh, play near the goal line. And then Caleb on Chason continued a strong recent scratch in camp with the sack in mid practice teamwork. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so yeah. I mean, that's good. Yeah. So, uh, so, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that's what it is. Yeah, it's like a stand up rush, uh, stand up rush. We yeah. got three in the middle, three BTs in the middle, and then yeah, we got like Josh Allen on one side, we got three in the middle, three BTs in the middle, and then yeah, we got like Josh Allen on one side, Hamilton or Brown. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's the problem that Bill David is. Supposedly, no one's talking about Hamilton, and he looks really good at Brown. Yeah. It's like it's like it's like it's no about him. Yeah. Yeah. That's why you don't want to report anything. Yeah. You got to keep it like a secret. Right, right. right. Yeah. That's that's why it's, it's a secret, secret weapon, y'all. You don't want to get. You don't want to get offered anything right. for right. something right. that you know. You might have to take it. No one frustrates me more than the No one. Absolutely. Like literally, even people in my own life. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that. It's got like crazy. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that. Um, picture the media got of him when he first started here. It was like he was doing the deuce and that duck face, like. Yeah, he just looks so dumb. He did duck lips and a deuce. Like, like he, he should be. Yeah, he just looks so should, dumb. He should be middle school. And that, that was him saying peace, peace to his motivation. He should be fired. Yeah, yeah that, was that was peace to his ability. That was peace to his. You give a man two. Give a man two million dollars. What does he buy? A boat. Why? Can't fish. Aiden almost Brian. We we dubbed him almost as his. Like he was in the UFC, they'd be like. Connor, notorious, Greg McGregor. He'd be like, Taven, almost. Brian. Uh, like, that'd be his uh, shit. Yeah, that'd be his yeah, rotations. Yeah. That's uh, his name. Uh, um, but yeah, uh, overall, yeah, man, yeah, I'm excited. Um, I should be excited? You um, better yeah, be excited. I'm scared. You're ready to see real quarterback. Play four. I think you should only be scared if you're expecting a Super Bowl. Have reasonable expectations for the <laughs> It's a new era. As it happens, has that happened? Never. 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 Has it happened? Russell Wilson? Has that happened? Never. No one's ever gone from the bottom of the top. 
Russell Wilson. Wait, Ronnie? Ben Rosberg is like 15-1 as a rookie, though. You said that dog got away today. Ben Rosberg is like 15 That's never happened. That's never happened. Carson Wentz, man. Not for us, but for Carson Wentz. You got me scared about our defense now. I'm kind of worried about it. Yeah, it's not good. It doesn't look improved, defense, improved at all from last year. <laughs> no. But I, but like we said, it they might be going through the biggest transition. Yes, yes I was about to say it's a, it, we're we're so we're doing a formation switch, guys. Let's just assume that our offense is legendary. Come on, yeah. Urbane. What if we're doing, our offense is just average and they're still shitting on our defense? That makes our defense like one of the worst. And James <laughs> is going to change the entire division. That makes us thirty they second. They both know who to cover, guys, and they're both going to cut them up, guys. Stop doing that's that. How you lose, that's how you lose 12 games. You're making this seem bad. You're making We're going to see. We're going to see. I, no, hey, bad. y'all heard it from that's me. That's why the preseason Be confident. We got two preseason games, right? Just two this year? Hmm? Didn't they cut yeah, the three. preseason no, back? Three. three. They had three? Yeah. Which is really calming because you don't want them to Wait, get Wait, Ben Roethlisberger was a rookie. He didn't win the Super Bowl. Yes, he did. They won the Super Bowl? Against like the Seahawks. Yes. 20, 2006. Yeah, I knew it, dude. Oh, Sean yeah. Alexander. So Sean Alexander. Big ben. So it's Tom. Big Ben. Yeah, it's Big Ben. Oh, man. Oh, man. Did, well, did Thomason ever get a Madden cover? So when's the first game? Thomason? Yeah. September 4th? September 4th? No, I don't think so. That's the official Big Firsty about a month from now? Yeah. All right. I think so. All right, all right. What, the, uh, the season opener? Or yeah, the... when is the season opener, Miles? You have great seats. Tell us. The, for the game, for 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 Regular home season. home season opener. When yeah. should I start to care? Home season or over season season opener. Season. Who are they playing? Season opener. We're playing the Broncos, and yes, that is September nineteenth. Nineteenth. So off. yeah, I think the fourth is when we play the Texans in Houston. Hmm. Are you sure? Or it could be no. No, I think it'd be like a little later than that. Am I right? Or do we have? <laughs> Do we have two games before we have a season opener? We've got plenty of time to figure it out. <laughs> yeah. to figure out right now. We got some games. Where are we at on the time? We're almost at an hour. Oh, sure. Well, let's keep talking. Mm-hmm. Yeah? No? No, it's over. We, we've no. said enough. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot. 45 minutes. What else can be said? I mean, dude, a lot. You know? Just the fact that I appreciate. Dude, I really appreciate see, appreciate it seeing like maybe that old guy that we saw yesterday just tapping dudes on the ass, just like pat like every every coach out there, especially this old guy. That's a good point. You know, we just uh, see something new. This is I've never, dude. I've been to plenty of training camps. Right. Hot crap. Hot crap. Boring. Comparative to what we just realized the training camp should look like what yesterday. It should look like. Yes, we've never seen a training. We've camp never like seen this. a real training camp until yesterday. My man Fernando. On the mic. On the mic. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Five yo, seconds. Yo, he goes, he goes. Five. Four. He goes. Three. One minute water break. Drink up. Drink up. <laughs> uh, or, uh, up on Coach Meyer. Up uh, on Coach Meyer. Moisture. What did he say? Something like. Dude, hydrate. No, or dude, shit. this one got me. He said, he's like, they're. Beep, and they, they all start running. And he says, hurry up. If you're useless, you're useless. If you're no, useless, what? Dude, if you're useless, dude, this dude said that on the useless. microphone. Like, like. If you're useless, have, you're useless. That's some deep personal. That's approach. tough to say, too. Useless, you're useless. He said useless, you're useless. If you're useless, you're useless. You can't even say it right. If you're useless, you're useless. If you're useless, if you're, you're useless, God, you're no. useless. If you're useless, you're useless. <laughs> if you're useless, you're useless. useless. Liz. Is that what he said? Youthless? You're useless, yes. If you're useless... You're useless. Is that, you're that's useless. what he said? I thought he said if you're useless, you're useless. Right. Either way, it's still rude and existential. Yeah. Yeah, and it's hard to say on the mic. And he oh. said it well. Like, clear. Oh, really? Okay. Fernando, they'll play with a he list. He said, uh, ow, now, brown cow. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's more like a well. she If you're useless, you're useless. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, just here, I don't know. I, I feel like Irving gives him these, like, flashcards every day. It's, it's more like, structured than anything we've this. seen. Don't get oh, yeah. wrong. If I'm just, if I'm just comparing it to the last person that had it, good God, I can't believe Doug Marone was the head coach. I can't believe he's based on what I, I saw yesterday. <laughs> I was like, 
I feel like we should have wow. known something was they wrong. They really gave him the head, the reins of an NFL program. Again. No, no, he's once. at Alabama now. Oh, yeah, he's at once. Alabama. Yeah. yeah, he's the O-line coach at Alabama. Yeah. He'll never taste a headset ever again. Keep the headset. Maybe up. if he sneaks into the coach's office. Nick Saban will scalp him. Can we get some season him. predictions as far as like game like game season predictions? Can we get like can we at least do that before we get up out of here? Game preseason predictions? Not preseason, no, no. Like, season like predictions. Actual, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, okay, yeah. What do you think the record? Run your uh what, what about what about the what about the, what about the first half of the season? Are we running mental algorithms? Sorry, the, the first the first quarter of the season. <laughs> <laughs> if guessing is a mental algorithm, then yes. I ran an, an acute mental algorithm. <laughs> Called a guess. So I know that the first game is in Houston, and we all know how that's going to go. Do we know if Deshaun's playing? Probably not. And, the, and by the way, the first game is on the twelfth of September in Houston. Uh, fourth. That right there is the facts. A little over a month um, away. So we all gonna agree on a W right there, yeah? Yeah, you yeah. better. Yeah, I'd assume yeah. so. You should, and it should be a great way to start the season. Divisional opponent victory. Oh yeah, one and zero victory. One and zero in the division. One and zero on the record. Good old garbage win. Come on, like Come on. still don't really look that good yet because it's the Texans and they are absolutely horrible. Um, so let's just move on. Week two. They're supposed to be a dumpster fire. Oh yeah. Their head coach is now the offensive coordinator at Alabama as well. Bill O'Brien. The, the two best friends are together. Doug Marone two and Bill. Two coaches oh, in the AFC God, side. That is lost great. their job. That's and right. Went to the that's University right. of Alabama to become. That's right. That's right. Coaching that's, staff. That's great. That's great. They just get a bunch of rings in their late life and you know talk about. The They're gonna get college life. rings, but it's. Ask Nick. You know he feels empty inside. He's got oh, yeah. seven college rings and they don't Dude, feel it was so one funny. Super Bowl. It was so funny hearing a player talk, an uh, old Dolphin player talk about how Zach Thomas was like talking down to Nick Saban. Like when he came to coach in Miami, he was like looking down like, motherfucker, I'm fucking 60 mil deep. Like, you better get out of my face. Like, talking about Zach Thomas and Jason Taylor looking down on old little Nick Saban. Like, That'll ruin you. <laughs> I'll ruin you. Two veterans of yeah, your program yeah, say yeah. fuck you. And that's what I and so that's what I love about Herb, dude. Herb knows how to treat the players. He knows how to talk to them. They love him. He loves them. Everyone lo- is loving each other. Not a single veteran has turned his back yet on Urban Meyer. No. DJ just, Chark probably had an opportunity. Had an opportunity. And he, he probably embraced had the it. best opportunity. Yeah, he embraced because it. Because he came at him and was like, You're too little. Mm. Ugh. You're getting sunned out. You can tell a dude the six of you that. Now get out of my face. Like, yeah. If anyone was going to take it personal, that's the type of player. You would never call Nick Little. That's on the player, though. Do you think Urban would have uh, come in here and said anything to Jalen Ramsey? Yes. No. Urban? I think he wouldn't have said anything to Jalen Ramsey. Because as a coach that understands his players, okay. Jalen is not the one you want to say anything okay. to. Like, you don't want to say anything to I want. I want to finish this, but let's, I'm we'll do it. It. let's do this. Let's think do I'm this. right? No. No. Uh, <laughs> let's do this. All right, say Jalen. This this would be this would have been his second year in his in his new contract, correct? Yeah, right. So, so I feel like Jalen would have, Urban would have been like, and by the way, what you did in twenty eighteen, not cool. You think you would have? That, that's that never up. gonna fly. Why do you think you would have brought that up? Let me just question that off the rip. Why do you think Urban would even? Because 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 I think he he has no problem. First of all, he has no as this guy is transparent. This is me, especially like, when it comes to press conferences. Okay, he says it like a Ti is in press conferences, like like like, like more, almost more than what we need to know. And is joking and is da da da, and will say whatever he wants about players. Just about, I mean, respectfully, but he'll comment. And so I feel like you yeah, think that would rub Jalen wrong. Oh. No, because you know what? Jalen respects winners, bro. Huh. He really does. Like, like he has an, the utmost respect for people that for for coaches and players that 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 make the, you know have a name for themselves. Clout, clout. Sure, you can say he clout. respects clout. Yeah, sure. So it's fine. If but if clout comes with wins, or if wins comes, one of those begets the other. Yes, <laughs> success. <laughs> nice. Right, clout success. Clout comes with fame and clout. Right. All come with success. So so, but but I yeah I, I feel I feel like like Herb would 
I feel like they would get would have handled it right. Would have handled it right. I oh. agree with that. What? Well, what do you mean? Would handle uh, handle Jalen and his attitude, or what? Handle what he says to a player that could be volatile. I, mean, I think if Urban could handle Aaron Hernandez, he could handle Jalen. Mm. That's heavy, bro. <laughs> that is heavy. But I, mean, but I don't know if I. I mean, if I could say, if I could just derail really quick, I think Aaron Hernandez was really sneaky. I mean, but not sneaky enough. That's not even being funny. But uh, who, well, who else was on that team? Because one girl, one girl, one girl, one girl. Oh, yeah. Tons of yeah, yeah. Carlos Dunlop. Carlos Dunlop. Murderer. <laughs> Carlos Dunlop. Who, who are some other... A bunch of Florida DBs and, and, and players were... I wonder if Urban is a little upset at how... Where Florida is. You know, he does the not talk about Florida. Players. He does not talk about How many Florida, Florida players are on the team? Brian, Taylor, and Henderson? Yeah. That's it, right? And you know what? And they're all showing out. Not in the best way. No, and, and you know what's funny? I wonder what he you know, about Dude, that. you know what's funny? How he's got CJ Henderson on, on the, the bike, bike in front of everybody because he is a gator. You think so? Dude, I don't think he... Would have done that I don't to think anyone else. He, I don't That's like, the type of shit that worries me, though. That's that like college shit Florida. that an NFL guy like CJ Henderson will say... I'm never going to play hard for this guy ever again, though. Because he, because he doesn't respect Florida. Because I got money now. You're not going to put me on the oh, bike sure. in front of everybody with millions in my bank account and have me play for you hard for the rest of my career. Why? Because this ain't college. No, no, no. no. But, but I'm saying. NFL. But I'm but saying. Same Zach Thomas shit. Like he, he you got can't. the same thing Zach Thomas did to Nick Saban. CJ Henderson might be doing it. Those, are, right those are well-established players. I hate to sorry point my finger at you again, but those Zach Thomas round, and Jason Taylor, he's a ninth overall pick compared to C.J. Henderson. I don't think so, Chandler. His rookie contract is still twenty million. Plus. Don't care. The money don't mean a thing right now. What's everything? We're we're signing and twenty million make you last forever, right especially if you start buying nice. No, things. I agree. You have to find us. You have to understand how to handle that. But money's not everything. No, money's no, no. Not I, the reason why this is different. Oh, absolutely. Actually, it actually isn't. Nick Foles. Hmm. Uh. <laughs> Do you think if I Saban will fail because of the new NIL deal in the NCAA? Do you think that college players who are able to make money off of themselves will now begin to think of themselves more NFL style where you're not going to tell me what I'm going to do? I already make the money for the school. It's, go- it's going to change how players... Coaches coach. Yeah. it's gonna, Well, no. I don't think so. I think it's going to change how players... Just treat their situations. It's gonna take the. It's gonna take a bit of pride out of out of everything because that's what comes. That's what came with playing for your school is that you were proud to play for your school and da da da. But I, I get it. I get what the, the NIL is you know about and what is what it's doing for players and stuff like that. Yeah, they kind of do deserve it in a way, in some ways, uh, it was because of all the money that you know comes in. But if, if I may get back to what what I was saying, CJ Henders or uh, Florida, if you've noticed, Nick or sorry. Urban has literally talked about Ohio State every single chance he's gotten. He said something about a mob black and the way that his secondary used to be at Florida when he was talking about he was giving kudos to somebody. Okay. And he did bring up his old Florida times. He's done it. Yes? Yes. I think he did that during his introductory during during his introduction, when when he's like, you know, I like, yeah, I love Florida. I spend a lot of time here, and da 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 da. And that was like to me, I what I've seen and heard that seemed like the end of it. Everything else has been like his real his real self, like all the Ohio State stuff and Buckeye Nation. <laughs> he's mentioned Buckeye Nation a lot. Yeah, yeah, it's from Ohio. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I I don't know. I, I I don't think that he likes any of our Gators. Anyway. No. anyway. Broncos game, season opener, home season opener. What do you What do you think? Who do they got at quarterback? Mm, did they Locke. draft somebody? Drew Lock. Drew Lock. And uh, yeah. Ty. What's his name? I don't know. Not Teddy Bridgewater. I'm just gonna call it a win. You're gonna call it a win. I'm gonna call it a win as well. Is Von Miller playing, or is he still having those off the field issues? No, Von Miller retired, right? It might be Teddy Bridgewater. I think it's Teddy Bridgewater and Drew Luck up there in Denver. Okay, okay, going for it. So what do you think? I think he should win. 
sure. We should be up 2 0. Yeah. I think we're going to win every game this year. <laughs> <laughs> it's too hot for them. Yeah. This time of year. Yeah. And we're going to put them in the purples. We're going to be wearing white for that game. <laughs> I love the thing that you go. It's the temperature and what we're going to be wearing. That's how we know it's good. The color is blue. blue. And orange. They can't take it. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not a purple. The, the but but it's, the clothes are blue and orange. Fine, right, we're putting them in orange. Enough, blue, you might mistake. Whatever, it. blue and orange. Whatever, <laughs> purple and orange. Dark purple, whatever. Dark blue. I'm saying. No, yeah. oh, I heard it. Yeah. Similar. I did. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, yeah, I, I also think. Yeah, I think we're gonna win that game. Um, I'm, I'm so thankful to be going to this, to this game. Um, wouldn't it happen without that extra gig that I was able to pick up, man? That's the only reason why I bought these tickets. So the hard work pays off. Yeah, man. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. Take your girlfriend out. Yeah, yeah. I, I she wants to go. She's, you know, I'm, I'm thankful that she wants to go. Mm. I asked her. You know, I was like, season opener. Do you want to go? She said yes. That's how the message looks. You know, a wise man once said the worst thing I ever did was get my girl interested in sports. But I met her that way. I, I'm, I'm joshing you, bro. No, I know. T- take me out to the ball game. That's <laughs> what I say. <laughs> Man, I love my girl, but I don't even think she knows. You know, one end one end zone from the other. Right. So it is what it is, man. Yeah. No. Yeah. We went out there with a buddy the other day to the pack the practice, and he's just like, he's not a football guy at all. He, <laughs> he, he's like he, he was like you, Nick, when we started this whole thing. Like yeah. Yeah. he's like you, <laughs> you, you, you. <laughs> intellect, young and uninitiated. Nothing about Soon football. Though. Knowledgeable. Nothing about football. Come from the city of Ray. You say that like I used to have like bone cancer. Like <laughs> 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 you once. <laughs> yeah, in a wheelchair. Yeah. Being, the thing you <laughs> teach you about being football. Being spoon-fed only liquid meals. In a coma. <laughs> like you. But now look at him walking up all the stairs by himself. Not even needing any help. No, no assistance. I don't. I, I think that. I think that the city. If I can say, if I can close, and I'm and I'm closing. <laughs> That's what pastors always say. Um, <laughs> uh, if I if I can say, I feel like the entire city is going to jump on this at the end, and um, at the end of the season, maybe even during the season. And I I just want to let you all know, I got receipts. I got receipts. I got screenshots of all that crap you were talking during dr- during and before draft, during free agency. I got the receipts, and I and you, you're awfully quiet now. That's because the season has hasn't started. But <laughs> calm before the storm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I, I can't. I cannot wait to see them come out again. So that's 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 my closing take. That's Thank you. Fingers crossed, man. Yeah. God, God, I can't. I can't take another bad. I don't know what I'll it's do. It's not going to be good for it. You'll probably go back to being a Ravens fan. <laughs> It'd be sweet. Damn. you probably go back to being a Titans fan. I'd probably run off and be Everything like, Chandler uh, says and has said today has been a lie. My daddy said <laughs> a lie. My dad put a Raiders hat on me as a kid. I had no choice. So, we all have our dark stories. Right. We all, all right. have our path. I guess this is the end of the episode. This is it, man. We would like to say so long. Thanks for listening. And yeah. farewell to you. Yeah, we'll be back next week. And every week. Have a good week. Yeah. Guess what happens when Trevor Lawrence does good? Have a Trevor Lawrence kind of week, Jackson.